Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, unit 5, lesson 3, project 11, and we're working with list. The instructions tell us that this app keeps track of the user's top 10 favorite songs. The user should be able to add new songs into the list. Add code that will insert a new song into the list at the position selected and remove the last song from the end of the list. There should only ever be 10 songs in the list. Tells us don't forget that indexes start at zero as you add and remove songs. It also tells us to read the documentation for insert item and remove item if we need to remember how they work. So when you run the app, it loads this list right here, the song list, and places it on the screen. What we need to be able to do is to type in a song title and rank it. It will then place the song within this list and push out the last song. For this project, the only place we need to focus is in this on event section. Let's go ahead and click reset on this so that we can see the different IDs within here. The first thing that we need to do is we need to be able to create two new variables. One variable is going to get the text from here. The other variable is going to get the rank from here. The one that we want under variables is to declare a variable. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and create two of these. The first one is to get the song. We'll go ahead and get that right here. We'll call it song title. We need to go to the UI controls. We're going to get text and just click and drag that over. For the song title, we're going to choose song input. And that'll grab that text. The next variable that we want to create is for rank. So let's go ahead and type in rank. For this, we want to select get number because the numbers in here are going to be a number, not text. And we want to select rank dropdown. If you leave it this way, you're actually not done. I actually forgot. We have to subtract one from the list. If you leave it this way, you didn't actually do it right. We have to remember that indexes start at zero. And when I was building this out, I actually forgot to do the math operator subtraction here. I'm going to just click show text. And what I can do, space subtraction one. I love the UI interface with the show blocks, but sometimes just jumping into the show text is easier. Let's go ahead and go back to show blocks. And so what this will do is it will return the number and subtract one so that when we put this later into the index, it'll be the correct index spot. The next thing that we need to do is to add code to insert the song into the list at the position indicated. So let's go back to our variables. The one that we're going to want is the insert item. So we'll drag that and drop it just below our comment. Our insert item has three sections. The first section is for our song list, the variable that we created with the string. The second part of this is for the index number. And then the third one is to get the song title. So for our first section, we'll go ahead and type in song list. The next thing that we need to get is our rank from the local variable that we created. And the same goes for our variable right here, song title for the third thing. We'll delete everything, including the quotes. So what this does is it takes the information that was put in here and then places it within this list based upon our rank and what we typed in. The last thing that we need to do is to add code to remove the last item from the list. There's a few ways that we could do this. Let's go ahead and select remove item from the variables. Our list is going to be song list again. Now in this section, we could do this a few ways. We could get the length of our list and subtract one, or we know that this list should only have 10 positions. If you subtract one from that list, because our list start at index zero, we know that if we put 10 here, it would remove everything after the ninth indexed. Let's do a quick rundown of what we've done. Within this on event, we've created two local variables. The first variable is to grab the song text from the song title. The second thing that we created was a variable to grab the rank number. Within this, we subtract one so that we could get the correct index number. The next thing that we did was we created an insert item. What we're doing is we're editing this song list up here. 
with the rank that was pulled from here and the song title. And so we'll put it in this list in the index position that we claim. And as everything gets pushed down, it goes ahead at this part of the code and removes the last entry because we only want 10. Anything above that defeats the purpose of this program. So we want to remove anything above that ninth index slot or that 10th title. Let's go and run the app. All right, I have a list of a few songs from the 90s that were top hits written down next to me. Let me go ahead and type some of those in. We'll leave the first rank here and we'll click add new song. That went ahead and inserted the list and we can see that that 10th item was removed. All right, the next one in the list that I have next to me is... Let's go ahead and drop this down towards the bottom. Let's choose rank eight for this and click add new song. And it went ahead and placed that in the index and pushed out that 10th song in the list. All right, let's add one more. This song I felt like was always on the radio when I was a kid. It may or may not have been way played out. Let's go ahead and select this in the 10th position and see what happens. There you go. Once you've completed working through this app, make sure you click finish.